The Bank of Ghana's decision to maintain the policy rate at 29% is a significant move aimed at stabilizing the country's economic situation by lowering inflation, which stands at 25%, and controlling the rate of CD depreciation, which stands at 14.6% from year to date. Now, maintaining the policy rate is also a balancing act. The central bank uses the policy rate as a tool to influence economic activity. At this high rate, the goal is to, one, control inflation. By making borrowing more expensive, it reduces spending and hence demand pool inflation. Two, support the CD. A higher rate can attract foreign capital, bolstering the CD and reducing import-driven inflation. This high policy rate, however, comes with its challenges. A lot of businesses are currently collapsing and some are relocating out of Ghana because the, the current economic conditions are not favorable for business growth. You have the city falling on a daily basis. You have the banks not even uh, being in a position to even provide loans. And at the same time, you have a higher policy rate. So I, I, I've got a bit disappointed that the Bank of Ghana did not reduce the policy rate. This trade-off is a delicate balance that the Bank of Ghana must manage to ensure long-term economic stability without severely hampering growth. Within the IMF, we have growth targets to meet, and we can only meet those growth targets if we are able to enhance the business sector. And if things are like this, more businesses will crumble and more businesses will leave the shores of Ghana. The Bank of Ghana's decision to maintain the policy rate at 29% is a strategic effort to combat high inflation and support the city amidst significant economic pressures. While this approach aims to stabilize prices and currency value, it also requires careful monitoring to mitigate potential adverse effects on economic growth, considering the complex interplay between monetary policy, inflation control and currency stabilization.